Trying my best to do the Alice in Wonderland reference off with her head, I guess. Uh, I, I, I'm Helen Bonham Carter and I have a big head. Maybe. Alan Rickman was the caterpillar in it, doing Alan Rickman well, yeah, impression. This, this. I'm smoking a very small pipe. Obviously. No. Anyway, this movie is called The Mad Hatter. Um, we have absolutely no idea what it's about, other than I'm assuming it's got something to do with Alice in Wonderland. Um, so we're going to watch it, we're going to react to it, we probably won't break it down because I don't know enough about Alice in Wonderland or its subsequent remakes that were also terrible. Um, yeah, let's just watch it. This isn't the movie I was expecting uh, it to be. That's <laughs> way less wacky than I was expecting. That is not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting like a funky sort of here's me doing a silly dance while my head spins and and yeah. you know this. Well, I was stuff expecting it to be like a more modern like I don't know. I was kind of expecting it to be like a child's movie. Not even a child's movie. Like a modern kind of maybe telling of it or like. A, Kind of like a backstory of Mad Hatter in some way or something like that. Not this. That looks awesome. That looks super rigid, super original. So is Mad Hatter that that burning guy him? Yeah. I'm guessing. But I'm assuming that he also at some point becomes the Mad Hatter. Mm -hmm. So the plot seems like these sort of teenage, not teenagers, but like kids, have signed up to do like a sort of. Had like a, a test, thing. yeah, like a, like a social experiment. Yeah. Um. Well, and they study supernatural effects on people's like mental, mental health. health. Yeah, which is interesting. Not something I've ever heard of, but um, yeah, it seems weird. But hold on. Animalistic psychology. Animalistic psychology. Surely that's something to do with animals, not with paranormal. I don't know. That's Surely, if it was paranormal, it would be something like supernatural psychology. Or even paranormal psychology. Why animalistic no, 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 psychology? No, 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 is this already? Is this one? Is this one of these insane moments already? Is he already insane? I bet this ends right. With them going, okay, so none of them were real. He was actually just insane the whole time. I bet it's got a really ambiguous ending where you're supposed to go, no, but you're wrong, because actually, they actually were all alive, and he actually killed them, and assimilated them, and became the Mad Hatter. So he actually has all of their personalities now. 
and I'll go no they weren't actually real he was already insane and he's he's just imagined them all and and the, the mad hat ghost that's killing everyone was actually really him killing everyone what this person or the other guy that the we guy. see oh and my god I might, be, I might be right actually it's it's a fair I mean it's a fair thing movies have done that where it's like you think you think there's a bad guy but then it turns out it was just an insane person yeah a little bit overdone yeah. but you know this it'd, it'd still looks interesting to see though like <laughs> yeah and this is the first person that he killed because he drowned her so it's not actually a not actually a social experiment these are all inmates oh no they're right. not all inmates he's an inmate so maybe because she's it makes it seem like she's young maybe it's like he did it when he was younger and he just mentally blocked it out or something I think this might be Shutter Island or we're just wrong and we're just making assumptions I know there's like loads of psychology and sort of evidence and stuff that would probably counter what I'm about to say. Yeah. If someone said to me, we're going to test what it's like for you to just stay in a room, I'd be like, well, you're not going to hear from us because I'm just going to be asleep the whole time. Yeah. I'm literally just going to sleep. It's like, I don't understand why an experiment like that would be that hard. Well, I think it's the supernatural aspect of it. They've probably chosen someone that's supposed to be like really filled with like ghosts and stuff to see how they react to it. And so they just have mm. to stay in the room and see if they have like any experiences. It's like if if you if you were in a mental hospital, mm -hmm. that would be hard because yeah you've got the suits. Well, not just that, the whole atmosphere probably. That's probably why this is it's a different kind of atmosphere, isn't it? Because if 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 everyone was all together, isn't I feel it? like it would be a lot more like you you would be a lot more at ease than if you were just by yourself in a room where anything could happen. He's in a room with a bunch of hats on the wall. Yeah, this is the first person he killed. Was that him again? Yeah. But it looked like he had longer hair or something. Where? There. Is that him? No, oh, no, it's just a shadow. Yep, Blumen Pillock. See, that's something, that's not only something that a doctor would say. But this is something that a doctor would have, and T is all very doctory. Right. So he might. Well, be I feel like aren't they supposed to be themes of Alice in Wonderland? Not themes like. It's supposed to be like oh, because he has the the stop the stop the watch. Because there's the clock. I don't know enough about. I and then the T because the Mad Hat has like a tea party. Hmm. I haven't explained it very well, but I feel like it's you know. Okay. Enough for people to understand. Oh yeah, look, they're having a tea party. But that also looks like a, almost like a seance. Fun. Yeah. Maybe it's just big candles, Sean. Just don't mess with paranormal stuff, dudes. That is vile. <laughs> That's one of them world enders where where, it's like a yes. tiny little. What are you doing? Going back to that to see what they are. Jellyfish in it. Oh no, that's a that's that's the clock I was talking about. He has one of them clocks. That's, right. a, that's a, a cup or a saucer. What's that? It's a heart. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's again supposed to be like Alice in Wonderland stuff, isn't it? A teddy, the rabbit. Because uh -huh, rabbit. Yeah, right. Girl. How much you betting that little girl's called Alice? Yeah, they're probably all going to be characters from from Alice in Wonderland, aren't they? Yeah. Like one of them is probably the che there's probably going to be one of them that smiles a lot and it's called the Cheshire Cat. Yeah. And the what's the what's the caterpillar called? Caterpillar's got a really stupid name, hasn't it? Uh, isn't it called like Parthenax? I know that's not what it's called because that's because that's um. 
That's Skyrim. Um, 2010 came out 11 years ago. But that's depressing. We're always just called Caterpillar. I thought you had actually had a name. No. Oh, Stephen Fry played the Cheshire Cat. That's good. Cool. Good for him. Alice in Wonderland. Cat. No, Caterpillar. Caterpillar. If you unplug that thing, you're in for the. I haven't unplugged it, you mong. Absalom. Absalom. A ridiculous name. Pretty sure the guy who wrote Alice in Wonderland was high the whole time. Why is everything burning? Mm. Maybe he burned a house full of people or something. That's why he's insane. That was a dog or a cat, and I don't want to imagine what they were doing. Hopefully, they were just cutting its hair. Better not be hurting Doggo. Oh, God. What was that? The guy was cutting leaves, wasn't he? I know, but he looked pale and weird. He's probably dead. Was he chasing a girl there? Was that the same I thought, guy? I thought they were both just running, weren't they? No, but she get trips over and it looks like he... That's a chase. Does it not seem like he's chasing her? Mm, maybe. <sighs> yeah, this is probably him becoming the Mad Hatter. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> I might actually watch that because it looks like yeah. it might be interesting. Where, what's, what's, where's it going to be? Did it say? No. Um, that was not at all what I was expecting from that. I was just expecting it to be like a retelling or like I said, like a a modern backstory yeah. of like a, a young man turning and saying, selling hats and stuff. Selling hats. Well, I think, you know, he's a mad hatter. God, that's really insane, isn't it? Selling no, hats. No, like, he, like he's like a, he's a hatter or whatever and then he goes insane. It's like, I was just, you know what I mean? I, I was expecting it to be anything but this. Yeah. It, this seems like it's going to be like a horror, like horror, like thriller. Thriller, yeah. I hope it is. I might watch it. If it's just crap, like the original, like the remakes were, then I'll not be happy. The remakes weren't that bad. They were, they were awful. The first one wasn't that bad. It was. It was just awful. It was just awful. To you it was. No, it was just like you sit there and you're kind of going... Ugh. At least with Beauty and the Beast and Lion King and Aladdin, I liked the originals. I never liked Alice in, I never liked Alice in Wonderland. That sounds like a you problem. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see... I didn't see the fascination. Apart from the fact that it's got a bunch of sort of quotes in it that people relate to you know for some reason you know all the best people are mad you know they're not they're not they might have unconventional ideas but that doesn't make them mad mad people are the ones who we kind of go you know let's keep you away to keep everyone safe including you you know stop being ridiculous people in Katie's generation and my where, did that, where did that come from? They're all up because it's mainly your generation. It that, is. That, that did what? That just that existed. No, that I, <laughs> <laughs> no, that identify with things that, like it's mostly your generation of people who were going. Oh, I wish I had a romance like Harley Quinn and the Joker. Mm. It was. It was mainly your generation. There were a few Muppets in my generation who I had to correct. You know. I feel like it was mainly like people in the twenties, like <sighs> loving, like. Just loving Jared Leto in that in that situation, though. No. I hate when you do that. <laughs> it's just what? like no. I'm not gonna argue again. I'm just gonna. No. 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 You're just completely disregarding everything yeah. I just said. No. <laughs> anyway, that was the trailer for the Mad Hatter. Um, let us know what you think down in the comments. Let us know if you enjoyed Alice in Wonderland, and I will be sure to let you know how wrong you are when we comment back. Um. What else can you tell me? Tell me some stuff that I didn't know about Alice in Wonderland. Tell me how fantastic Tim Burton and Johnny Depp are together. 
then like the video, subscribe, ding the bell to be notified when we upload. We upload every day. Uh, anything else you want to say? No, you kind of, you kind of just like attacked everyone. Yeah. <laughs> so like you know. It was mainly your generation, you. Know? Your generation is to blame for everything. Everything that's bad with the world. Maybe everything bad with the world is your generation. Oh! Our generation yeah. was given the scraps by the previous generation. Um. Anyway, yeah. thank you for watching. I need to know.